Okay, in this video we're going to talk about particularly the plate designs um, and what makes a good design, where to save your image so that I can print them off in the room and, uh, uh, and how to save them on the, on, uh, with Google image search. Uh, and what kind of makes a good, we talked about kind of what makes a good design, but uh, so we've got the process, strong plates, and then the Google search. All right. If you ever are logging the computer, never X out of these things. I see kids doing that all the time, and it's a little service announcements for me. Okay, the process. All right, basically, you're going to transfer your design onto your plates. It's not real complicated, um, and uh, but you do need to make it permanent. And we do that by two methods, by glazing it or um, by actually drawing it in the designer. And, and the glazing it is, uh, we're going to print it out on the computer, and then um, the, uh, the ink will go right onto the clay, which is kind of nice. Um, but you must paint over it, uh, paint over your design. So when you pick your images, you want to think very carefully about things you can paint over. So in other words, no photographs would be bad. Um, you can draw lightly over it with pencil. Here's a better example of that. Um, this person put the plate design on there and then lightly, not so deep that you go all the way through the plate or any significant amounts in the plates, but just like lightly on top of it. And then you don't even have to worry about, um, you know, you can paint it a little more liberal and, and you've got the design in there. A good design. I should be able to see what it is when you're finished. And um, like they say, if you when you print it on, the print... The thing that we print on actually disappears when I put the clear glaze on. Um, and this is a bad design. Someone had a photograph of a helmet there, and uh, they thought it was going well until you put the clear design, and we lost the original drawing, and it was just as left as what you painted. Um, so you want to pick something that you can easily paint. All right. Here are strong plates that I've done in the past, okay? Uh, and I still want you to think about this use of images, okay? We... Uh, I don't just want another Ohio State plate. We can go buy those. You're making an original fine arts work of art. Um, that means there should be none other like it. If you just print Ohio State on there or some symbol that I can go buy another plate of, that would not get a very high score. We're trying to do symbols, but more importantly, metaphors. And if you remember from uh, yesterday's lesson that uh, metaphors are, are a way to take an object that means something larger. Um, here's an A-plus student, um, and the reason this is an A-plus plate is not only is it kind of a unique uh, symbol for her that represented something in her life, uh, she also has a volleyball and, a, and a, um, you know, a butterfly here and some flowers, all of which she um, downloaded with Google Image Search. And so she get, and that's my suggestion. Do four or five images. Uh, you can always not use one. Um, it's much more difficult on, on the um, studio day when we're printing things on your plate if you have other examples, other things. So um, the more the merrier on this in this regard. This is an A. It's not an A+. Plus. Um, I like the design around the outside. Um, this student had a representation of what that meant uh, to her uh, about the, their relationship. I remember this plate's about a relationship, you know, and the two birds are a good example of that. Um, what would make this better? If they uh, put patterns on here, you know, maybe some dark feathers or maybe the branch was black or the, you know, behind the eye or the beak, I don't know, or something like that to give it some more pattern. It's just outlined. And uh, that's okay, but a little bit weak. This was strong. I liked it. Um, the dog and then the, and the crosses. I liked the way he thought about the circular design and pushed them all in. It didn't, there's not an, I mean, there is an up and down for the dog, but there isn't for the, uh, the crosses. And once again, um, had an abstract pattern that represented things as well. Uh, going down the scale some, uh, this is still an original plate. Yeah, he used Ohio State in his design, and but some other things that go with it, and, and uh, the money symbol, and uh, so there's more there. that It doesn't look nice. And remember, we're making a beautiful object. So um, this is a B or C. Uh, you know, it's not super strong, but uh, it'll work. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, and, then, and this... I like the fact that, you know, the, some of the plate kind of broke um, apart in his process, but he, he glazed it, and it kind of looks cool. I mean, it kind of goes together. So uh, that's one of our skills is uh, when you make a mistake, discover a way to make it work. Uh, that's something that artists can do. Nice symbol. I like the flip-flops idea. I like the 
the feel of this play. It feels very open. It feels very fun. Um, sure, they're they're trying to describe the relationship. I think that those symbols were added on to the flip flop. So a nice clever place to put that. Here's weak examples. Don't pick symbols that are already symbols and already mean something. It means so much that we don't know what they mean. Like like a heart. Like a, I think a you know a heart is, or any kind of standard symbol, well, yin yang things like that. They just mean so much more and they get so diluted they don't mean anything at all. So even though this looks like it's about a relationship with love and the heart there, it's it's just and plus it's it's just badly done. I mean it's messy. Um, you know, and and I'm not opposed to having um, Stewie on there. If you're gonna do it, do it right. I mean, what is that? A fin there? I don't know what. Like, draw it all the way. Um, you may think Stewie's cool, but how does that represent your relationship with somebody? Um, maybe it's sarcastic and rude, like he is, but we'll see. All right. Uh, how do we save images on Google uh, Image Search? Um, basically, you go to Google. And um, if you hit image right away, it doesn't let you do it. But if you search something first and then push image, it seems to work. Um, so there's kind of a kind of a backdoor thing. Our district is allowing us to uh, do this image search. We just can't do it directly. I don't know why. And every year it changes. So by the time you're doing this, it could be a little different. But basically, type in the, the image that you want, and you might get some websites, and then hit image. Now, the first thing you're going to get is um, lots of photographs and these would be very difficult any one of these would be very difficult to put on your plate and then paint uh, unless you're really good at simplifying things so what you want to do next is go to advanced searches you can do it here you can do it on the top if you have a bar like there on the top you can do it on the top as well um, but when you get to the advanced searches there's several things that I, that I want you to think about first of all image size oh, let me see if I got a close up nope I'll go back um, so uh, we, I want you to do image size versus medium, and that just fits on the plate better. Um, and I'll show you a way of not saving the um, thumbnail. It's got to be our actual image. Uh, color, I'd keep it black and white. And some people even do clip art uh, to help them. So when, when I did that search, I limited it. Now, you know, I can't use that, can't use that, can't use it. But now I'm starting to get some that I can use. I could use that one there. Uh, I bet if I scrolled down, I could get a few more. Um, but I'm going to go one other place and, and hit search tools here. And I'm going to go over and hit clip art. Let me see if I can get close up there. Yeah. So you can do clip art. You could do line art. Both of those work really well. Do, I wouldn't do photo. I wouldn't do face. Um, that's going in the, the other direction for you. But when I click clip art, now I would say half of these dragons I could use. Um, you know, I could paint that one. I could paint that one. Now it's, you know, because you want to keep it simple and clear. Um, so let's say I pick this one, and uh, or well, something like that one. Once I get the big screen of it, I w don't uh, don't click back on these um, these thumbnails. Those are really quite small images that are just warming up. But once I click on it, I'll get a big image, and I want to use my um, mouse and I want to right click. It's not the click that we usually do, but it's the the right side. And you're going to get um, a list like this. And we want to go down into copy and right click on copy. And once we do that, um, on the keyboard, I'm going to hit this little window thing and E. And uh, what's going to happen is I'm going to get a screen like this up here. Now, you remember that there are, um, when you logged into the computer there's several little guys I call them wall they look like little wallies but really they're they're a computer on a wire which means online there's your spot that's so when this person logged in 00789 um, this person that's their spot but there's also 42 student and uh, just like in your classroom you might have a box where you're, you have your teachers um, put things in when you're done I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the Dropbox and then this is art class, okay? So in the Dropbox in art class, there is um, your teacher's name. Um, there's Miss Baylor's class. So then we save it in the art box. Uh, and you're going to get something like this. You might get this blue screen at the top, and then here it might be all white, depending on the settings that you have. You need to click not on an image. Don't see. There's already a dragon image there, and and perhaps if you're doing this, there's a whole class of images on there. You want to click right in between two of them. And if you right click in between and push paste, um, then it should show up on there. Now, it will it'll only show up like this for you. You can't see that. 
Um, just like in the Dropbox in your classroom, you're not really allowed to look at other kids' stuff. You're not allowed to look at the stuff once it's in there. And you can't change it. You can't delete it once it's in there. I can. And, um, and if I'll often show students what they have in there, and so we can adjust it that way. All right, and once again, good images, not a good image, all right? It would be very difficult because this has way too much detail, all right? Uh, better. Um, this is a better image. I could copy that one. Um, I could maybe make the fins a little darker, and I could work with that. Here's the best. It has uh, good, clear places for your paint, for your black and the white, and it's kind of a nice design. It's interesting. Um, it would be difficult to come up with that. Uh, so I think that's the best, and um, I hope watching this can catch you up um, with the rest of the students, and so we can uh, print on our plate. Thank you.